What's up everybody? Russ with RWG Research here. Today I'd like to show you my method of taking recycled magnet wire from TVs and other places I guess. This stuff and going from this to this. Alright, so inside of a TV uh, the degaussing coil looks something similar to this. It's wrapped in a black tape. Okay, and inside that there's a bunch of magnet wire. Focus on my hand. There you go. Bunch of magnet wire. Okay, quite a lot of it in there. So I'm going to show you my methods that I use to go from this wrapped back to a usable recycled magnet wire. So let's get started. If you'd like more information, choose the links in the description to uh, kind of look at anything I've discussed in this video. I should have most of the links there. And uh, yeah, this is uh, most use of my day, so there's going to be some interesting uh, extra stuff in this video that is not just directly directed towards this. Unfortunately, I've had to use my time, got family stuff going on, so let's get started. All right, here we go. Making the best use of my time. Post motor bill off. This happens to be the right size wire, so I got one of these unwrapped that I picked up. And I'm going to show you. I'm in the bathroom sitting on the toilet, but it's not open while the kiddos are playing in the bathtub. So I'm going to show you what I do. I take the long path. What? Oh. Stuff is All right. So here's what I like doing. I get a ball of tape that I've already started. We're still filling up the water, Mark. A little bit more. It's full enough? Okay, turn it off. It's loud. I guess it's full enough. This time. This, this is mine. Alright. Find the end of this thing. Hey, I normally don't wear gloves, but I don't have anything to clean all this sticky stuff off my hands with. Yeah. <laughs> what are you laughing at, honey? It's funny. It's hilarious. I gotta make best use of my time. With my this color. Okay. Uh, sure. All right. So I got my ball of tape here, and I'm gonna grab the end of my wire. I mean my tape. And just start unwrapping. Hey, don't do that with that thing. Silly. No, not out of the cloth. It's dirty water in it. You're drinking water you're sitting in. That's gross. Can't be doing that. I'm looking for Alright, so we just... And this one's nasty. This thing is so sticky. But basically, I just... Unwrap the tape. And roll it up onto my ball. And this one is really fighting me right this moment. That's okay. What are you doing over there, kiddos? Alright, so basically, after you get the whole thing unwrapped, hey, 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 don't drink the water that's in the tub, that's bucky. Yeah! Bucky. Bucky. Yeah, don't do that. Don't drink this stuff in the tub. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh. Well, I guess I'll do this whole one and time lapse the footage. Oh, Because after I'm done with this, I'm going to show you how I un. Wow. What are you doing? 
You can throw them more everywhere. I'm going to show you how I unwrap these. Where are you doing? Huh, and show you how I wrap them back up. Now, I saw another guy using a hot iron and just slicing off the wire or off the tape. That's probably a pretty good idea. I don't mind unwrapping it. This one's pretty nasty, but usually they go pretty fast. You can dunk this whole thing in solvent first and it wouldn't be as bad. But this one's nasty. So. <laughs> what? You want to see it? See? <laughs> Alright. You kids are crazy. This came out of the TV on the side of the street. What do you think about that? You're lost. Alright, best use of time. Now I gotta wash the kiddos. Alright, time for some time lapse. you're curious, listen how dense this is. Can be real quiet, okay? okay. That is a hard ball. You're all right. Time to go dunk this in some solvent. I'll show you how to unwrap it. Let's go. Say bye. 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 All right, guys. Time to uh, time to try to see if we can clean this stuff up. I got some of this stuff. I'm gonna see. It should work. I've got me a plastic bucket. I'm pretty sure this won't eat through the plastic. Pour a little in there. I'm gonna call that good. I don't wanna use too much. Okay. And I'm gonna take my coils. I'm actually going to, uh, usually if you twist them once, no, that didn't work, did it? Usually if you twist them once, you can get them to fold over. Let's see. I'll twist them like that. There we go. You can get them to fold over. Flatten them out a little bit. Get them to fit in there. Fold them even more. Well, that will help. Let's fold this one three times. Okay, like that. I know I'm bending this all up, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go ahead and. See if I can make this one a little better too. Now see I untaped that one end and this end is coming open. That kind of it's kind of a bad deal. You gotta make sure you keep all that stuff somewhat in the right spot for a while anyway. Alrighty. I know it looks kind of messy, but it works. Don't worry, we'll straighten all that out later. Probably have some gloves on, but and some glasses. But I'm just gonna let that sit in there for a while. I'm gonna put a lid over it. We'll come back later. I'm gonna stir it every once in a while and kind of splash it around, and uh, it already feels very clean, actually. So we're gonna let it sit in there. I'm gonna splash it around every once in a while, and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. All right, next step. Are you guys ready for the next step? So, I've been, I put this in here and I kind of been swirling around. I flipped the coils over a few times and uh, I don't know if you can see that. We see all the crud in the bottom that it took off. Quite a bit of stuff. This stuff stinks, by the way. So here's the next step. You're going to need a, a rag of some kind, like this. 
and I'm going to find me some gloves. Can't find my old leather gloves, I'll just wear these. I should have rubber gloves, but I don't have any. So, what I'm going to do is take one of these out. Alright, and uh, unfold it to where it's back to the original style and shape. Okay, and then I'm going to show you how to straighten this stuff out before you start unwinding it. Right now it's a big twisted mess. And there's usually a, a couple of small pieces of tape to hold it together while they wrap the big coil around there. So here's what I usually do. I get a rag like this. I get some of that uh, chemical, whatever you're using. Okay, get it on there. And I usually just do this. One way and another. And what I'm doing, I'm wiping off the goop and at the exact same time I'm straightening out the wire. Okay, can you see that? Now once you get back up here to the top where the wire starts again. You can see how all this is in a big knot? Watch. Okay, just kind of twist it this way. And twist it that way. Alright, really get a good grip on it and voila, look how straight that is. Alright, so you got to do that around the whole thing. That's one way to get the, the gooey stuff off. And it's also a way to straighten the wire out before you try to unwrap it. If you don't straighten it before you try to unwrap it, it's a pain in the butt. Alright, now you can see kind of that I've got a nice coil. Alright, you see how it's all nice and straight? And if you're careful while you're doing this, you can actually find out which way the coil started and be able to unwrap it a little bit easier. If you find the right end and you start unwrapping it, it'll come off. If you get the wrong end where it's twisted into itself, it's a huge pain in the butt. So I'm going to just let this dry. I don't know, just pick a place. This looks like a good place. On the top of my fan up there. Alright, I'm just going to let it dry. We'll do the other one. Remind me not to turn the fan on. I will let these dry and then we'll bring them inside. I'll show you how to get them untangled. But the most important thing you can do is get them straightened out to this point. If you get them straightened out this nice from the bundle that they were, you can really get these untangled pretty easily without making a big mess of it. Alrighty. Next step, please. Alrighty. So let's finish this. How do I get from this to a nice spool of wire? The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you find out which way this is wrapped. So now that you've gotten it all straightened out like I showed you, if you look at it you can actually find out which way this is wrapped. This looks like it's wrapped this way. So when I pull this off, Okay, if I grab a wrap and a loop, it's actually coming off this side quite nicely. Alright, <clears throat> now when you pull this off, you kind of have to pull like around, okay? You can't pull it straight off. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip this wire off because it's going to get snagged on something. So I'm just going to clip that one off and uh, I'm going to show you two methods. Okay, Both of them are going to involve a spool. I have this one on a drill, but you don't have to have it on a drill. And one method is to string this out wherever you can possibly find a spot. I am currently going to just string this one out through my basement. I'm going to attempt to hold the camera <clears throat> and do this at the same time. And the second method is stationary. It's a little more tricky, but it works just as well if you don't have any space. So I'm literally just going to get the end of my wire here. I kind of tangled it up just a second ago. That was kind of a bad idea. Alrighty. Get it untangled here. See, now here's the thing. When they wrap this wire, when you're trying to untangle it, if you don't unwrap it right, you're going to get it all twisted up. So I'm just going to pick a spot. Alright, string it out. And what you're going to run into is these knots. You don't want that. This is why you have to string it out. Alright, so I'm just going to I'm going to walk this way. Alright. Get that knot untangled. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to wrap around something like this. Alright. I'm just going to walk back and find something else to wrap it around. Let's just wrap around this trash can. And then we'll go back into this room. Okay, try not to walk backwards. I'm gonna get it all tangled up. I'm just gonna want to make sure you don't get any any knots. All right, then I'm gonna go into this room. I'm going to walk back in here, wrap it around this horse, go back in this room. I wrapped it around the trash can. Okay. Now, when you get into a knot like this, I always find out it just unwrapped it in the wrong loop. Just got to get it back around that loop, and usually it takes care of the problem. Oh, and then we'll we'll go back in this room. Go back over here. 
This is the end of my wire. All right. Okay, so let me show you what I got here. This is actually the easiest way, in my opinion. And this is pretty thick wire, so it's a little bit easier, but there's usually about 250 foot of wire on every coil inside of there. So I've literally just got this stuff stranded, okay? all over the place all right but it's spread out it's straight that's the way to keep it from tangling okay that's the best way to keep it from tangling then what we're gonna do see if I can do this we're gonna grab our spool we're gonna go to the end of the wire where we ended at sorry about the footage Okay, we're going to go to the end of the wire. We're going to loop it onto our spool wherever you want. I'll just wrap it around here, I guess. Okay, and then we're just going to start wrapping. So, actually I'll sit this over here. You got to keep, keep your tension on here. I'll walk with it. there's enough light down here that you can see what I'm doing all right set this thing I gotta clean up my stuff again okay That is how I do it. All righty. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the second method and hopefully not ruin this because this method doesn't work as well, but it works really well if you have a very, very, very big like spool this one is fairly small but I've seen some that were five foot round now a little pointer on this spool jig that I've got I found these T nuts and they have these rounded edges on them and they f they center the uh, spool So there's a lot of play in there, but when you tighten these, it centers the spool automatically. Kind of cool. Alright, so let's do the second method. Alrighty, so the second method. I am going to go ahead and snip these off. Oops. Tried to cut both of them there for a second. I'll go ahead and cut it off so I don't get that messed up. There we go. So here is the second method. I'm going to try to do this on this floor. I should probably do it on a slicker floor. But what you're going to do is again find out which way this comes off. 
That looks like that's going to work well. Lay the wire on the floor. Okay. And again, what you're going to want to do is remember that when they wrap this coil, and if you try to pull it straight off, I guess, this is going to get in a big knot. So, what you're going to want to do is get this on your spool again. And whichever way the wire is wrapped, so it's turning, it's turning this way, so I'm going to wrap it the other way. And what I do is every time that I make a loop coming off that spool, I, I roll this around. You'll see. That way it doesn't get spooked. It doesn't get caught. See it try to take a knot there. And that is the second method. Uh, they both work well, depending on the size of wire and how bad it's tangled up. I've been able to untangle some pretty good tangles. But the success story or failure story, okay. I've had my fair share of fails. Let me show you where. Let me show you where they ended up. <laughs> uh, scrap, scrap copper for that one. Uh, but uh, anyway, there's the two methods that I use. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our wire straightener that you'll have to make, Aww. and we'll straighten and clean that wire the rest of the way. So let me set up stuff and I'll show you how it is. Show you how it's done. Show you how I do it. Ooh. All right, so this is the wire straightener jig that I have designed. Uh, more detailed information of this, if you'd like to see it in the description, I'll put a link. But basically it's just a bunch of, uh, of uh, bearings that you can find on uh, sliding glass doors and such. You can find these at uh, hardware stores. They're pretty expensive and uh, made up just a, a different couple of uh, of ideas here to run the wire through loop it around all this stuff we've even got a little uh, a little counter on here and uh, it's just being held on there by magnets actually and then we'll have our nice wire on the other side now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol you could use whatever you want but this stuff works for now or acetone I got some over there but I'll use rubbing alcohol and I'll douse it in a towel and then I'll zip tie that around the wire and that will clean off the excess gunk. So I'll show you how that's done. Let's get everything set up. Alright, so what I've got is a, is a sock, actually. And I'm going to take some, some rubbing alcohol here. Could use any other kind of chemical, I guess. This stuff doesn't evaporate quite as fast. All right, douse it pretty good there. I'm gonna take the end of my wire. And I'm gonna be running through here. I'll just wrap it around there like that. Alright, zip tied on there, and that will clean off 
some more of the junk. I might have to pull that a little tighter even. There we go. All right. So I'm going to show you the before and after. There's the before. It's actually pretty straight. That method I showed you earlier works pretty well. But by running it around all of these jigs, we can really straighten it up. Oops, lost my counter. I need to fix that. Okay. Put my counter back on here. This thing falls off quite a lot. Something I I need to repair with some super glue sometime. Not worry about it. Okay, so we got our spool. Our new spool. And voila, fresh recycled magnet wire. So now we'll do the other one. All right. So there you go. Tool. I didn't wrap that one quite as nice. This one turned out a little bit better. I got it on there a little bit better. But that is how you go from a big nasty spool to nice clean magnet wire. Peace out. Um, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more on how to use your resources and where you can find magnet wire and stuff, go to rwgresearch.com and click on the Use Your Resources page. All right. Peace and love to you guys. I'll talk to you later. Enjoy. Leave a comment if you'd like. Peace.